Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a quick one going over iOS 14, and I'm gonna let you guys know all about it, how I think it's doing, and if I think you guys should update. So let's get right into this. First off, I had to go ahead and just purchase the developer kit for hundred bucks a year, just so I could get this. I didn't wanna wait anymore for the public beta. So if you are waiting for the public beta, by the way, that should be released within the next two weeks. I'm guessing next week we will see dev beta two and public beta one. So that's right now what I think. I have not heard that from any internal sources. I will let you know if they update that. Now, iOS 14 itself, how have I liked it? Honestly, I have liked it a lot. And this is probably the most stable first beta I've ever used on iOS. That's saying something because some of the older ones were definitely pretty stable. iOS 13 was terrible. Um, this one is completely different. This I've had almost no issues. I've had a couple uh, restarts and reboots. Um, and the phone does get hot sometimes when I'm using like the navigation app, but overall it's been pretty usable. Haven't found any game changers that are going to stop me from using my phone how I want. Have I found any apps that don't work? That is a question I keep getting on Twitter and in my comment section. I have not found any on my phone that don't work hundred percent properly. So pretty much everything has worked just fine. I've never really used this app library. Uh, I know I keep showing it, but, um, Honestly, there's not a whole lot to it. I don't really like it yet. Um, it's just, I don't know. It seems redundant that there's this swipe down here and then you can also just swipe down here. Um, I don't know, it just seems weird. But let me quickly talk about the features that drew me to actually go ahead and pay hundred bucks and get this. Um, first off, I really like that they've updated iOS with a bunch of new security features. If you guys know me, you know I'm a security enthusiast. So seeing these features come to the iPhone is great. For example, at the top up here, if I were to enter like Snapchat, for example, uh, you guys can see right now up at the top, there's a green LED. A little dot is indicating that it is the phone or some application is using my camera. And if I swipe down here, you guys can see it's Snapchat. But if I leave this app and I swipe up down again, it's gonna say Snapchat recently. So that lets me know that, hey, Snapchat was using my uh, camera. And if there's some sketchy app that you've got on your phone that's using it, you'll now be able to find out. Another thing that I think is pretty cool is this new pop-up. It took me a while to find an app that I hadn't opened that is going to give this, but it basically lets you know if an app is trying to connect to other devices on the network. Now, in this case, this app obviously needs it. So uh, I will say, okay, and it will be able to find my Lumetric time. But if I was using um, Facebook, it tries to do it. There's a bunch of random apps that have tried to get access to that. And obviously I decline it. So you guys can now decline stuff that's gonna search on your network. Uh, you definitely don't want Facebook doing that. I think YouTube tries to do it and their excuse is that they want to be able to, you know, Chromecast or cast your screen to like a, a TV. That makes sense. Uh, maybe you will want it for that. But for all, most apps, you're not gonna want that on because that's creepy. Now everyone's always talking about these widgets and honestly, I don't see anything that great about them. Um, they are kind of lame. I actually had some on my home screen and took them off, if that lets you know anything. Uh, they just don't make sense yet. Uh, they just don't seem customizable enough. There's not enough useful information. If I wanna see the weather, I just go into the weather app. Like, it's not that hard. Um, maybe I'll change my mind on this later, but these widgets are just not uh, not getting it done. They take up so much space. Like, if I just want this battery icon, it's gonna take up an entire row or two. Like, come on, I don't want that. So that's something I don't like. Um, there's another small glitch. If you guys are on the fence of getting this or not, uh, when notifications come in, you're in the middle of, let's just say you're playing brawl stars here and a notification comes in you're playing like this, right? With the joysticks and everything, um, notification comes in, you try to swipe it up. When you do that, if you had your thumb on the screen and you were like moving around, typically you can do two at once. You can swipe up and keep playing. This will freeze up the whole screen and pretend as if your fingers are not on the screen, you'll not be able to play. So that's screwed me up a bunch in this game. I'm sure it affects other games as well. Not a good look. Notifications also come in slower. And I don't mean like late. I just mean when they come in and go out, they are, the animation is just a little slower than it used to be. So that's something else I've noticed. Performance has been great. Battery life has been iffy. Uh, some apps seem to use a lot and I'm assuming they just need to be updated. But if I'm not using my phone that much or just you know on a call, it honestly seems on some days actually a little better than iOS 13. I know that's hard to believe a beta having better battery life than you know a, a staple release version, but iOS 14 seems fairly optimized from that standpoint. I'm sure if you just kept swiping back and forth on this screen, 
I'm sure this is not optimized properly yet, so that'll probably use up a decent amount of battery life. But overall, uh, it's not been bad. Going to my battery health here, I'll show you guys. It's still at 95%. It actually dropped like four percentage points uh, the other day because I did a full cycle of the battery. And in case you don't know what that means, I'll just say it real quick. It took the battery from 100% all the way down to like 1% until it got super laggy and then charged it back up. That kind of got the whole battery health, you know, recalibrated. That's a way to do it. I'll probably make a video on that in the future. Anyways, as you guys can see here, I think I installed it on Sunday or Monday. Um, so you guys can compare for yourselves uh, kind of how well it's been doing. I think it's been fine. Um, nothing crazy, pretty average for battery, uh, not much changed. So let me give you my advice on this. If you're on the fence about getting iOS 14 developer beta one, honestly, for most people, I would say don't do it unless you know what you're getting into because there could be catastrophic bugs and it's hard to downgrade. But if you know what you're getting into and you're okay with that and you're okay paying a hundred bucks a year, you guys can do it. Or you can wait about two weeks and you guys will be getting the public beta. Um, and I think that'll be a little more stable and obviously it's free. This one costs hundred bucks a year. So I paid hundred bucks so I could get Big Sur on my Mac and also watch OS 7, which I'll be going over soon. Whoops, did not mean to do that. May as well show you guys a couple things while I'm at it. Um, if you edit your home screen and if I can click the button and let's say I wanted to delete Apollo here, I can cancel, add to library or delete. So if I wanna just move it off my screen, I can do that. I can also delete entire pages if I want, uh, or at least hide them. And I can add widgets here if I want, but uh, I don't wanna do that right now, especially not on camera. Anyways, you get the idea. iMessage has been improved. I can't show you that, of course, uh, but you can pin conversations to the top, which is great. Picture in picture is kinda cool. Haven't really used it much. Same with back tap. Um, it just seems like when you set your phone down, it activates too often. So I can't really use it yet. If you guys wanna see a top iOS 14, like a 14 features video, uh, probably showing you stuff that other YouTubers haven't yet. Let me know with a like on the video. The whole point of this video was just to kind of give you my thoughts on it, go over some bugs, go over the battery life. I'm gonna leave a poll on the community tab, so I want you guys to go uh, answer that. Maybe I'll bring that up in the next video um, because I think I've got another week to ride this out until next Tuesday, and there will be dev beta too. If you're planning on downloading this from one of those sketchy free websites, I don't recommend it. You never know what they put in those. Uh, it could be malware, you know, it's just, uh, you never know. Not worth the risk in my opinion. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.